exclusive contract with Felu Novel Network Novel. Three Kingdoms Jiao Chan's wedding rush at the beginning Lin Feng traveled through the late Han Dynasty and originally planned to spend some time. Unexpectedly, the yellow turban soldiers under their command snatched one of the four beauties, Jiao Chan, and awakened the plundering system. Ding, snatched Jiao Chan from Dong Zhuo's hand and receive an SSS level reward, War God's Power, True Dragon's Eye, and a random special unit. Ding, snatched the Fang Tian painting halberd and the red rabbit horse from LV Bu's hand, and obtained the S. Level reward and the Overlord Spear. Ding, forcibly subdue Jia Su and obtain an SS level reward. The true dragon aura is top. Notch immortal T. Ding, complete a random task to save the beautiful Kai Yen and receive an SSS level reward. Kai Yen's heart, marching halo, and a random special unit. Ding, snatch the Zhou clan and receive an SS level reward, the title of beauty killer, and a divine weapon for slaying. Ding, seize Er Chiao, obtain SSS level rewards, change the celestial phenomenon, loyalty aura, and mysterious elixir. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Starting with Jiao Chan's Marriage Robbery, Activating the Robbery System You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. AD 192, April On the official road from Chang'an City to Babler Wu A welcoming procession of hundreds of people slowly headed westward. Along the way, firecrackers rang out in unison, gongs and drums were noisy, creating a lively atmosphere. In the middle of the team, on the most magnificent carriage, Jiao Chan was dressed in wedding clothes, with eyes like water, and her beautiful face was exceptionally firm. As soon as today passes, the plan of separation is considered successful. As for whether LV Bu will take action against Dong Zhuo, the traitor, as expected by Situ Wang Lang, she cannot decide. Thinking that he would be bullied by Dong Zhuo, the traitor, upon arriving at Babler Wu tomorrow, a line of clear tears slowly flowed down his beautiful cheeks. Step by step. A chaotic and rapid sound of horse hooves sounded. Next came the noisy roar. You're such a big coward, do you know who got married today? We are Tai Shirdong. Before he could finish speaking, a silver light flashed before his eyes. His throat cooled and his head fell heavily to the ground, I'll take care of who you are. You guys are the ones who stole. Everyone listen, put down your weapons to avoid death, otherwise there will be no mercy for killing. Brothers, take care of those dozens of guards, let's go back. Kill kill kill. Shen Ling, on the Qingfeng cliff. A young man dressed in a green shirt, with sword eyebrows and starry eyes, and a jade-like face, stood with Ling Feng. The gentle breeze blows, and the blue shirt floats in the air. Coupled with the magnificent rivers and mountains, the beautiful scenery is as if an immortal has descended to earth. This young man's name is Lin Feng. Three days ago, he arrived at the end of the Han Dynasty and became the leader of a small group of Yellow Turban Army. He led over a thousand brothers to become bandits in Shenling. After confirming that he couldn't go back, Lin Feng was considering how to survive in a chaotic world. In the chaotic era of the late Han Dynasty, human life was like a dog. With his three-legged skills, how could he laugh at the end? Go hug your thick legs. With his current status as a yellow scarf rebel and king of the mountains, I'm afraid no one will give him enough respect. Even using them as cannon fodder. Have you seen in history that Lu Bigong was soon treated as cannon fodder after defecting to Lu Bei? What a tragic ending. The more I think about Lin Feng, the more I feel that the future is bumpy. Thinking about others traveling through different systems, one by one, it's amazing. But what about myself? I've been here for three days and haven't even seen the shadow of the system. Damn it. Thief, what about my system? With a roar, the only answer to him was the howling mountain wind, echoing endlessly. Step by step. 
A rapid sound of footsteps came. A subordinate quickly approached and knelt down on one knee behind Lin Fong. Boss, today our brothers have gained a lot from going down the mountain. We robbed a team to welcome you, and we have prepared a surprise gift for you. Surprise gift. The only thing that can surprise him right now is to give him a system, but is that possible? Lin Fong shook and his face turned pale. However, he still walked towards the direction of the knockoff. In the Shanjai, there is a bustling and lively scene. Wherever Lin Fong passed, everyone held him in great awe. This awe-inspiring gaze made Lin Fong feel slightly better. At least for now, there's no need to worry about food and clothing, no need to worry about safety. You just said you prepared a surprise gift for me. What surprise? Let's hear more. Hee <laughs> hee. Boss, our brothers and I have seen that you have been in a bad mood these days, so we have snatched back at Zazhai Lady for you to relieve your stress. That woman, not to mention how many. Before the minions could finish speaking, Lin Fong frowned slightly and said, Which bride did you snatch? I'm not telling you, don't oppress the people. Why doesn't my words work? The servant quickly cowed out and said, Boss, it's not just an ordinary family getting married, but an official of the court. Our brothers all come from poor families, how could we take action against our own people? The chill on Lin Feng's body dissipated quite a bit. Entering the conference hall, there were countless subordinates inside, and the noise was not lower than outside. The subordinates all bowed and bowed to Lin Fong. Lin Fong frowned slightly and said loudly, let's all go out and train for me. In a chaotic world, if you want to live longer, you need to have skills. Sweat more on weekdays and bleed less during wartime. Do you understand? Here. The subordinates kept silent and retreated like a tide. The crowd dispersed, and Yao Chan, dressed in a red wedding dress, appeared in front of Lin Fong. But seeing her slender figure, stunning face, and bright eyes like stars with just one glance, Lin Fong remained in place and murmured to himself, the head of the phoenix is moth like an eyebrow, the smile is beautiful, and the beautiful eyes look forward to it. The ancients never deceived me either. Feeling Lin Feng's clear and hot gaze, coupled with his handsome face, for some reason, Jiao Chan's long frozen heart suddenly shook. Thinking of her own task, Jiao Chan's eyes showed a hint of determination. She slowly stepped forward and lightly blessed, saying, I am a newly recruited person by Grand Tutor Dong. Please send me back, young master, otherwise something bad will happen. Dong Zhuo's people. Lin Feng's eyebrows furrowed slightly, and a hint of solemnity appeared on his face, recalling what would happen this year in his mind. Suddenly, his eyes lit up with a hint of complexity. Looking at Jiao Chan, he said softly, Miss, is Jiao Chan. Today, he was sent by Situ Wang Lang to Babler Wu as a gift to Dong Zhuo. Jiao Chan's beautiful eyes were full of surprise. You. How would you know? What else do you know? Judging from his expression, Lin Feng's final luck dissipated. He smiled bitterly and looked at the beauty. I also know that your plan to sow discord is about to succeed. Jiao Chan's stunning face was even more shocked. Apart from herself and her adoptive father Wang Yun, no one else knew about this strategy. How did the person in front of her know? The shock in Jiao Chan's heart was naturally unclear to Lin Feng. At this moment, his heart was extremely complicated, and he didn't expect to accidentally snatch back Jiao Chan, one of the four beautiful women. Saving the beautiful woman is certainly good, but the next thing to face is the revenge of Dong Zhuo and LV Bu. With over a thousand minions in my hands now, who can I stop? Bitterness fills the heart, what should I do? Damn it thief, don't you give the system at this time. Just as I cursed in my heart, I heard a tinkling sound. Ding. The host steals the Jiao Cicada and activates the plundering system. The looting system, whether it's robbing women, cities, or talents, can receive generous rewards for any robbery, note that the looting system only targets valuable things, and will prompt itself if encountered. 
In addition to looting, the system will also randomly release tasks, and if completed, you can still receive rich rewards. There are countless rewards, only things you can't think of, nothing that the system cannot give. Ding. The world is being digitized, please wait. Ding. The data session is completed, and the system has been activated. Ding. Congratulations to the host for capturing one of the four beautiful women, Jiao Chan. The value of the raid is at the SSS level, and you have obtained an SSS level reward. Do you want to claim it now? Chapter 2 Rich SSS Level Rewards, God of War Power You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The system is here. Looting the system. Encourage oneself to grab things. Is this a bit unethical? However, considering that rewards come in all shapes and sizes. Lin Fong laughed a few times, with a different smile on his face. It's like dozing off and sending a pillow. In a moment of despair, the system finally arrived. After a brief adaptation, Lin Fong shifted his focus to plundering value. What is the use of this SSS level? As soon as the thought arrived, the mechanical version of the system sounded in my mind. The value of looting represents the value and amount of reward items obtained. Value is divided into SSS level, SS level, S level, A level, and B level from high to low. Among them, SSS level can receive three random items from the system, while SS level can receive two item rewards. S level and below can only receive one random item, but the quality of random items varies. Lin Fong fully understood the explanation of the system. Without any hesitation, give the order directly. Claim SSS level rewards. Ding dong. The host gains the power of the god of war, the skill, true dragon's eye, and a random special unit. God of war's power. The ceiling of force value, which can make the host invincible in the world after use. True eye of skill. Able to explore characters for dot dimensional attributes. Random special unit. After use, you can obtain a hundred battle division with unpredictable combat effectiveness. Ding dong. Please choose the item to use for the host. Sizzling. Lin Fong took a deep breath, the shock in his eyes indescribable. Use the power of the god of war. With a thought, a tremendous force surged from within. In my mind, I have gained countless tricks, which seem to be engraved in my mind and are incredibly familiar. From the outside, Lin Feng's muscles were visibly expanding, and his momentum was converging on him. Ding dong, the host gains the power of the god of war, and the four dot dimensional data changes to obtain the skill, god of war, dot. Host Lin Feng force value. 110, the average person's force ceiling for each item is 100. Intelligence. 96 Commander in Chief. 75 Charm. 92 Skill 1. True Dragon Eye. Able to explore various counties of all characters. Skill World War II God. When faced with strength, it becomes stronger, with a maximum increase of 30 points in strength, TSK TSK. What a God of War's power, truly terrifying. After sighing in his heart for a while, Lin Fong gave a sinister smile and looked at Jiao Chan in front of him. With a thought, Jiao Chan's data appeared in his mind. Jiao Chan Charm Value 101 Intelligence 92 Talent 101 Skill Closing Moon You can choose a character for blessings, and then increase the four dot dimensional attributes of the target task by 15 points. Note can only be used once in a lifetime. Sizzling. Terrifying attribute skills. Not to mention that its charm and talent value have exceeded the limits of humanity, let alone this closed moon skill, which is highly coveted. Think about it, if these 15 points are randomly assigned to the force value, who would still be there one in one? No wonder the beauty in front of me can withstand SSS level evaluations. Apart from the titles of the four beauties, this skill attribute is the determining factor, right? 
Thinking of this, Lin Fang's eyes were filled with a touch of warmth. How can such an unparalleled family be released? Young master. Young master. Feeling a different expression in Lin Fang's eyes, Jiao Chan softly shouted. Lin Feng regained his senses and gave a faint smile, saying softly, Miss, what instructions do you have? Jiao Chan's weak face revealed a hint of firmness. Since the young master can see the adoptive father's strategy of separation, he must also be a wise generation. In today's world, the Dong thieves are in chaos, the feudal lords are rising together, all industries are in decline, and the people are struggling to make a living. As long as we eliminate the Dong thieves, the world can be stable. Please, young master, for the sake of righteousness, let me go down the mountain. These few words are full of righteousness, and at this moment, Jiao Chan's heroic spirit is thriving. Lin Feng shook his head and said softly, How can the rise and fall of the world be weighed down on you as a woman? Hmm. Jiao Chan was taken aback, with a hint of confusion in her eyes. Lin Feng continued, There are numerous aristocratic families, corruption is rampant, and all the land of the people is divided among the landlords and aristocratic families. Even if Dong Zhua is killed, chaos is still present. Your efforts will not yield the expected results. Do you think Situ Wang Yun is for the benefit of the people of the world and the common people? Wrong. He is for the power of the court, for himself. Your broad-mindedness may be admirable, but if a country puts its rise and fall on a woman, is there still a need for this country to exist? Remember that you are just a delicate woman, you don't have to carry too much on your shoulders. Lin Feng's words come from the bottom of his heart and are well founded. Like a warm current slowly flowing into the heart of a mink cicada. How has Jiao Chan ever been cared for like this? People who often see her admire her beauty and want to take her as their own. Is it her adoptive father Wang Yun who has no other thoughts in his heart? How can a weak woman resist? Even if she refuses, how can she be kind? With a faint sigh, Jiao Chan said bitterly, In this world, there are always many helplessness. Thank you very much for your kindness, young master. However, there is no other choice. Young master, listen to me and let me go. Otherwise, not only will I offend Dong Zhuo, but even LV Bu will raise troops to attack. With the strength of your fortress, it may be difficult to resist. Lin Feng took a step forward and looked at Jiao Chan with clear eyes. He said seriously, as long as you are willing, I will block the thousands of troops and horses that are pressing on you. Dong Zhuo. LV Bu. But the local chickens, tiles, and dogs. Chaner, are you willing? Feeling Lin Feng's burning and sincere gaze, for some reason Jiao Chan's heart trembled. There are many people who express admiration for her, and those who pursue her are not uncommon, but she has never been moved. However, facing Lin Feng, a man who only met once, she unexpectedly rose to an unprecedented liking. Perhaps it was because of those words just now, or perhaps it was because of his sincerity. In short, at this moment, Jiao Chan's heart was extremely chaotic, and the heart that had eliminated Dong Zhuo for the world had softened a lot at some point. Young Master Before finishing a word, Lin Feng's voice rang out again. Don't you want to live for yourself once? You don't have to agree now. It's not too late for me to agree again when I take Chang'an City. But at that time, I hope you don't hesitate and can be my woman with peace of mind. At this moment, Lin Feng was domineering and gentle, and the truth that Jiao Chan was full of food couldn't be said at this moment. Her beautiful eyes were fixed on Lin Feng, as if she wanted to see through the mysterious man in front of her. Chapter 3 LV Bu A Great Man Standing Between Heaven and Earth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Personally settling Jiao Chan, Lin Feng returned to the hall alone. He knew that the Shanjai would face a catastrophic disaster in the future. And being able to weather this disaster depends on how useful the following random special units are. 
After stabilizing his mind, Lin Feng entered the space of the system. Ding dong, should the host randomly summon a special unit. Okay. Special units are being randomly selected. With the sound of the system landing, countless shadows of words appeared before my eyes. At the same time, Lin Feng's heart also tugged fiercely. The next special unit determines whether he wants to persevere or hang up. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a special unit. The 800 Beiwei Army. 800 Backed Wei Army comes with a skill. It can only be activated by binding with the main general. As this reward is at the SSS level, it specifically rewards General Yu Fei, the commander of the Beiwei Army. Yu Fei Force Value. 100 Intelligence. 96 Command. 99 Skill Loyalty. Loyalty will never decrease. As the main general, the loyalty of the soldiers he belongs to will not decrease. On the battlefield, it can stimulate the fighting spirit of surrounding soldiers and increase their combat effectiveness by 20%. Skill of Serving the Country When encountering strong enemies, it can stimulate the fighting spirit in the heart and increase the force value by 10.20 points, when encountering strong enemies, it will be strong, sizzling. Lin Fong took a cold breath and the shock in his eyes was indescribable. Surprisingly, the special unit randomly selected the Beiwei army, and what's even more terrifying is that the system also randomly selected the famous General Yu Fei. Combine these two golden partners. That effect is not just one plus one. The smile on his face became increasingly intense, and at this moment, Lin Feng's fear in his heart completely dissipated, replaced by a strong sense of war. With 800 troops on the back, why fear Dong Zhua and Lu Bu? Ding! Does the host summon the 800 Beiwei army, the famous General Yu Fei? Is it necessary to integrate it? Fusion! Ding Dong, the Beiwei army and Yu Fei are merging. Ding Dong, the backward Wei army skill has been generated. Loyalty and Righteousness when righteousness comes, life and death follow. Yu Fei and the Beiwei army appear on the same battlefield, which can stimulate the potential of the Beiwei army and increase its combat effectiveness by 400%. This. Lin Feng can hardly describe his current mood in words. This skill is quite incredible. No wonder in history, the Beiwei army in Zhuxian town could defeat more than 100,000 elite cavalry of Jin Wushu with just 500 cavalry. With the blessing of loyalty and righteousness, how can one not win? Thinking of this invincible team appearing in this era and being able to compete alongside many heroes, Lin Feng's fighting spirit became even stronger. Summoning The order was issued, and countless silver lights flashed through the empty hall. Immediately after, countless well-dressed soldiers with swords and spears appeared in front of Lin Feng. Each of them emitted a suffocating aura. Led by Yu Fei, he has a medium-sized figure, a Chinese-style face, and his face is full of perseverance and solemnity. But when he saw him kneeling on one knee in front of Lin Feng, he loudly said, I have seen your lord, Yu Fei and Yu Pengju. May the Lord go through fire and water at all costs. As he moved, the 800 soldiers under his command shouted in unison, I have seen your Lord. May the Lord go through fire and water at all costs. Lin Feng raised the corner of his mouth and set his sharp gaze to the sky. The sky is dead, the yellow sky should stand. We follow the will of heaven and seek blessings for all the people, which is the fate of heaven. General Yu, you can lead the Beiwei army to reorganize the brothers in the fortress. If you disobey orders, immediately drive them away. Send scouts and prepare to confront the invading enemy. Here. Shenling faces west, over a hundred miles away. There is a babbler named Wu, which was specially built by Dong Zhua as a place for entertainment. In the central palace of Babbler Wu, singing and dancing are peaceful and lively. Dong Zhua, sitting in the front position of the main hall, had a fat head and big ears, his footsteps floating, 
and his gaze fixed on the singing girl below. His eyes were full of lust, and his fierce aura had gradually dissipated in the midst of the hustle and bustle. Da da da. A rapid sound of footsteps came, followed by a soldier covered in blood quickly entering the main hall. He knelt down in front of Dong Zhuo and exclaimed in panic, Grand Tutor, big things are not good, big things are not good. Upon hearing these words, Dong Zhuo, who was already in high spirits, frowned slightly, his face turned cold, and his eyes were filled with darkness. However, when I saw the bloodstains on the soldiers, my eyes became more solemn. What's going on? What's going on? Speak slowly. The soldier breathed a sigh of relief and hurriedly said, The wedding procession has been robbed, and Miss Jiao Chan has been captured. What? Dong Zhuo glared angrily and kicked the soldier's chest directly. The soldier felt pain and blood flowed from the corners of his mouth, but he dared not show any dissatisfaction. Waste, waste. Who dares to oppose me around Chang'an? Is it just seeking death? As soon as he spoke, he suddenly remembered that there seemed to be rumors a few days ago that LV Bu coveted the beauty of Jiao Chan. Is it this rebellious son? Thinking of this, Dong Zhuo interrupted and shouted, But this rebellious son Lu Bu. The soldier shook his head and said, It's not Marquis Wan, it seems like the Yellow Turban Army entrenched in the Shen Ridge wants to commit evil. These people relied on hundreds of people to rob them. Dong Zhuo instinctively breathed a sigh of relief, as long as it wasn't for Lu Bu, everything would be easy to handle. The coldness in his eyes grew stronger, and Dong Zhuo interrupted, The little thief dared to take action on me, Grand Tutor. Damn it! Someone! Order Li Yen, Guo Si, and lead three thousand soldiers to eliminate these remnants of the Yellow Turban. Here! Luoyang City, City Mansion. Wang Yun and LV Bu sat opposite each other. Wang Yun pretended to shed tears and said helplessly, Dong Zhuo is very powerful. Although I have stated that Chan'er has already made an engagement with you, how can I stop those wolves, tigers, and leopards under his command? Liu Bu was furious and pulled out his sword from his waist, saying, My father. In. Law, don't say too much. A great man standing between heaven and earth, how can he remain depressed for a long time? Besides, taking revenge on one's wife is not acceptable. Dong Zhuo, old thief, I want to take your dog's life. Wang Yun chuckled inwardly, but was excited on his face and said, My virtuous son. In. Law has this heart, the court is saved, and the world is saved. As soon as the words were spoken, the voice of the servants outside could be heard. Sir, big things are not good, big things are not good. Miss was robbed by a strong man halfway through. Wang Yun was taken aback for a moment. It was so easy for him to persuade L. V. Bu. Is there going to be another upheaval? L. Yu Bu, who was beside him, was also stunned for a moment before anxiously saying, Who snatched Chan Air away? Speak up. The servant knelt on the ground and said, I heard it's the remnants of the yellow scarf on Shen Ling. L. Yu Bu's face was angry and he said, What a big coward. He dares to snatch my daughter. Someone, gather a large army and rush to Shen Ling. Quick. Looking at Lu Bu's figure, Situ Wang Yun, who was originally worried in his heart, had a different smile on his lips. As long as Dong Zhuo is eliminated, he can monopolize the power of the world on his own. Under one person, above 10,000 people, one will surely be able to make a name in history. The more I thought about Wang Yun, the happier he was, and the more obvious his deceitful smile became. He <laughs> he. Chapter 4 Good what a fast gun. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Shen Ling, Outside the Mountain Fortress. The 800 backed Wei army had a solemn face and stood tall without saying a word. The strong military posture is fully demonstrated. But behind them, there were over a thousand yellow scarves with worried faces and fearful eyes. Babblers, Wu, and 3,000 Western Yan Iron Cavalry have come to kill us. 
this is not giving us a chance to survive. Who will provoke us on the mountain? As for not giving us any chance to survive. The woman who was snatched back for the king today is said to be favored by Dong Zhuo. Ah! That's why. Why is there so much noise? Can we? Can we stop it? If you can't stop it, you have to stop it. As someone like us, going down the mountain is a dead end. Let's fight hard, what are we afraid of? That's right, they are all raised by our parents. If we don't have a way to survive, we can only kill them. Not bad, don't be afraid. If anyone is afraid, get out of here. All right, keep it down. The king is here. Amidst the attention of countless people, Lin Fong appeared. Yu Fei knelt down with the 800 Beiwei army and shouted loudly, I've seen your lord. The voice is majestic and full of awe, floating in the sky for a long time without dissipating. Just the momentum has already surpassed many of the yellow scarves behind him. Lin Fong waved his hand and looked solemnly at the minion in front of him. Dong Zhuo sent troops to besiege us, and I understand that you are afraid in your hearts. But I'm telling you, there's nothing to be afraid of, it's just one head and two shoulders. What are you afraid of? Born in a chaotic world, the strong are respected, and if you want to live, you must strive for it. I, Lin Fong, rose up today with the intention of sweeping across the nine provinces, seeking the well-being of all the people, and completing the mission that the great sage could not have accomplished back then. The sky is dead, the yellow sky should stand. Are you willing to join me in creating a prosperous era? If you're willing to stay here, if not, leave now. Make your choice with a stick of incense. Starting now. Lin Feng's voice is extremely provocative. Especially shouting out the slogans of Zhang Jiao at the beginning has added a touch of high morale to the eyes of many subordinates. In the brief silence, someone finally stood up. With a fierce expression in his eyes, he shouted loudly, I am willing to follow the general. Our family has long been killed by the court's corrupt officials. What are we afraid of? If you have the ability, kill me. Yes. I'm afraid of birds. I've been pinning my head on my pants since the rebellion. What else can we do if we die? In less than a stick of incense, a deafening clamor sounded. The sound hovered in the mountains and forests, echoing for a long time without dissipating. More and more minions dispelled the fear in their hearts. Not far away, Yu Fei's gaze was fixed on Lin Fong, with even greater admiration in his eyes. Not everyone has the ability to make people scream in just a few words. At the top of the list, Lin Feng's mouth curved into a smile. He knew that these over a thousand subordinates were still afraid, after all, they had not been baptized by blood. The strength of the Western Liang army is still in our minds and cannot be dissipated. However, he believed that as long as he saw the strength of the Beiwei army, these soldiers would undergo unprecedented changes, and they were only one battle away at the moment. Report 3000 Xiliang Iron Cavalry are climbing the mountain. You came just right. Coincidentally, this battle will accumulate morale. Lin Fong took the long spear from a nearby servant's hand, and a sharp killing intent shot out of his eyes. Line up, face the enemy. Today we will enter Chang'an City and rewrite history. Kill. The roar rang out again, and the terrifying killing intent startled countless birds in the mountains and forests. Step by step. The neat and deafening sound of horse hooves lingered in the mountains and forests. Immediately after, 3,000 Xiliang Iron Cavalry appeared in front of everyone. Li Gui and Guo Xi held a long spear and stood proudly in front of 3,000 Iron Cavalry. Both of them shook their heads secretly as they looked at the extremely rudimentary and dilapidated Shanjai not far away. Guo Xi took a step forward and shouted coldly, I am General Yang Wu, Guo Xi. You traitors, who have eaten the bear's heart and leopard's gallbladder, dare to force the Grand Tutor's woman. I see that you are the longevity stars eating arsenic and living impatiently. 
Hurry up and release madam, kneel down and die, otherwise you will be crushed to ashes today. A mocking smile appeared at the corner of Lin Feng's mouth, and his long spear was raised in his hand. Unknown rat, dare you fight me? Guo Xi's eyes showed a hint of anger. Looking for death. With a forceful squeeze on both legs, the horse galloped out from under its crotch. Behind him, Li Gui was about to stop Guo Xi from taking the enemy lightly and advancing recklessly. Do you think that the people across from you who are less than two thousand are just remnants of soldiers and wanderers? Why are you afraid? At this moment, Li Yan didn't know that after drinking tea, he regretted it, and his heart turned blue with regret. In the field, Guo Xi rushed out, and Lin Feng was naturally happy. Without any hesitation, even people and horses rushed out. The two are getting closer and closer. Lin Feng, who was originally ordinary and weak in writing, suddenly changed his aura. The terrifying killing intent surged towards Guo Xi like a tide. This kind of killing intent is even incomparable to the world's top fierce general LV Bu. Guo Xi was afraid, and a look of fear filled her cheeks. Who are you? How could you have such a terrifying killing intent? How could it be? Before he could finish speaking, Lin Feng's long spear had already been stabbed out of his hand. The gun shot out like a dragon, drawing a beautiful arc in the air, pointing straight at Guo Xi's throat. Guo Xi felt cold all over, and at that moment he smelled the breath of death. A silver light flashed before my eyes. Ah! A scream sounded, my throat icy cold, and blood spurted out along my throat. Guo Xi's eyes widened, as if he couldn't believe he couldn't stop a single move in Lin Feng's hand. Endless regret filled his mind. But everything is too late. Okay. Such a fast gun. Before he could finish speaking, his eyes darkened and he fell heavily to the ground, rolling up waves of dust. The mountain wind blew by, and the dust dispersed, leaving only a corpse and a warhorse that had long been frightened in the wind. P.S. The new book is opening, with the support of all the big shots. Daily guaranteed minimum of 10,000 words or more, rest assured to read. Any comments or suggestions can be made below, and the author will humbly accept them. Also, please ask for various data, flowers, and tickets. Chapter 5 The Victory of Destruction You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sizzling The soldiers of Xiliang who witnessed this scene all took a deep breath, their mouths wide open enough to hold an egg. No one expected that Guo Xi, who was also a skilled soldier in the army, would be unstoppable in Lin Feng's hands for a single turn. A faint cold sweat emanated from Li Gui's head, and a hint of fear flickered in his eyes. Xiliang Iron Cavalry, attack. Kill this person, receive a reward of 100 tails, and be promoted to three levels of official rank. Kill. With a big wave of his hand, Li Yan saw the Western Liang Iron Cavalry rushing towards Lin Feng after a brief hesitation. In their eyes, no matter how powerful Lin Feng is, he can only slaughter all 3,000 of their elite by himself. 3,000 Western Liang Iron Cavalry charged forward, with a sound like a mountain collapsing and earth shattering, overwhelming the sea with a strong killing intent that filled the entire world. Lin Feng was unafraid and looked at the charging Xiliang Iron Cavalry. With a smile on his lips, he shouted coldly, Back way army, attack! Yu Fei, who had been on standby in the crowd for a long time, didn't say a word. With a forceful squeeze on his legs, the galloping horse galloped out from under his crotch. Back way army, kill! Show them our prowess! The 800 backed way army rushed to kill, with an imposing momentum that blocked the sky and sun. The evil energy on each figure far exceeded that of the Western Young Iron Cavalry. In front of the invincible momentum of the Beiwei army, the momentum of these Western Young soldiers was like a small boat in the vast ocean, which could be capsized at any time. Dong Dong. The two momentum collided, and the soldiers on both sides naturally fought against each other. 
The Beiwei army consists of a small team of 30 people, including crossbowmen, archers, spearmen, and shield bearers, who work together perfectly. None of the soldiers from Xiliang could survive for a moment in their hands. Just as it hit, everyone's heads fell to the ground. The majestic Xiliang Iron Cavalry, like young children, suffered a brutal massacre. Li Jian, who witnessed this scene, was really scared. What kind of army is this? So powerful. How come I have never heard of it myself? Looking at Lin Feng, Li Qian felt even more numb on his scalp. At this moment, Lin Feng rushed into the center of the crowd, his long gun dancing uncontrollably. With each move, seven or eight Western young soldiers flew out horizontally, their bodies like broken kites, and those who collided along the way howled and spat blood. This. Is this still human? How could there be such a terrifying person? I'm afraid even Lord Wan is just like that, right? How can we resist it? The morale of the Xiliang soldiers dissipated, and no one dared to stop Lin Feng. Wherever you go, you automatically give way to a passage. Lin Feng laughed heartily and pointed his spear at Li Xian, saying, Come and suffer death quickly. Shouting out, the galloping horse under his crotch galloped straight towards Li Xian. A terrifying killing intent enveloped Li Xian, and at that moment he truly felt the breath of death. Where are the personal soldiers? Hurry up and kill the rebels. Shouting out, no one moved around. Everyone knows that there is only a dead end to blocking Lin Feng at this moment. This is clearly to send the head, who is willing. Those private soldiers pretended not to hear each other and automatically made way for the passage. Do you dare to disobey military orders and seek death? Li Yan's eyes were shocked and angry, wait for me. Before he could finish speaking, Lin Feng approached him with a long spear in hand. You don't have a chance anymore. The long spear in his hand was fiercely thrust out, as fast as lightning and moving like thunder. The terrifying and suffocating killing intent hit Li Yan's entire body. Li Yan could feel a silver light shining towards his throat. Don't kill me. I am the person of Grand Tutor Dong, and Marquis Wan is my brother. He is invincible in the world. Aren't you afraid of death? At this moment, Li Xian has already started talking nonsense. And the goal is also very simple, to survive. Just Lin Feng, where would he be soft-hearted because of these words? Feeling death approaching, Li Yan gritted his crown tightly, and at this moment, his desire for survival burst out completely. The big knife in his hand slashed fiercely at Lin Feng. This knife exerted all its strength, he only hoped to besiege Wei and save Zhao, and to scare off Lin Feng. Is the speed of the spear in Ku Lin Feng's hand something he can guess? The silver light struck Li Yan's throat. A scream immediately rang out. Ah! His throat cooled, and the long spear had already pierced through his throat. Blood slowly descended along the gun's head. The big knife, which was already approaching Lin Feng's neck, lost its recoil and fell to the ground. Li Yan looked at Lin Feng with a face full of fear, endless regrets lingering in his mind. He regrets it so much. If he had escaped earlier, why would he have died? But everything is too late, too late. The mountain wind blew by, and Lin Feng exerted a force on his arm. The long spear in his hand picked up Li Xian's body, and he shouted coldly, Li Xian is dead. Do you still want to resist in a corner? Throw down your weapon to avoid death, otherwise there will be no mercy for killing. At this moment, Lin Feng was like an invincible god of war, and his voice made the hearts of the soldiers of the Western Liang tremble and tremble. Yu Fei, the Beiwei army also shouted loudly with a strong voice. The Iron Cavalry of Xiliang, whose momentum has long dissipated, has no desire to resist. After a brief hesitation, someone finally knelt down on the ground and shouted loudly, I am willing to surrender. Don't kill me, I'm willing to surrender too. The sound of surrender kept echoing in the mountains and forests. 
Countless Western Yan Iron Riders knelt down in front of Lin Fong, their proud heads lowered, and they dared not look up. The Lord is mighty. The King is mighty. Roar. More than a thousand minions are now completely ignited with their hot blood in their chests. The gaze towards Lin Fong was filled with awe and admiration. They now believe what Lin Fong just said, the sky is dead, and the yellow sky should stand. Shanjai, on the walls of the fortress. Dressed in a bright red wedding dress and with a stunning face, Jiao Chan looked at Lin Fong in the crowd, and her surprised expression was extremely evident in her beautiful eyes. She never expected Lin Fong to be so brave, and the people under his command to be so fierce. Do you really have another way to go? Thinking of this, there was a hint of something different in the gaze towards Lin Fong. In the crowd, Lin Fong seemed to feel something and looked at the fortress wall. But when he turned around and read and left, he was momentarily stunned, his lips curved, and his smile was extremely strong. P.S. Seeking flowers, seeking votes, and seeking the support of all the big shots. Thank you very much. Chapter 6 Jiao Chan This is the taste of being protected by others. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The smoke dissipates, and the mountain breeze blows towards the Buddha. Lin Feng, standing in the crowd, wielding a long spear, exudes a heroic and imposing aura. More than a thousand minions around roared incessantly, and everyone seemed to have been beaten with chicken blood. On the other hand, looking at the remaining over a thousand Western Young Iron Cavalry, they no longer had their initial arrogance, crawling on the ground one by one, feeling uneasy in their hearts. Lin Fong pointed his spear and said coldly, You are just ordinary soldiers. Coming today may not be what you want. Now give you a chance to live. Those who follow me live, those who oppose me die. Now select. How dare you say more about the surrender of troops in Xiliang? One by one, they eagerly shouted, We are willing to surrender, we are willing to surrender. Lin Feng's mouth curved slightly, and he knew that these Western young soldiers were just afraid of death and had to make a choice. Ko Lin Feng has confidence in completely subduing these surrendered soldiers. On one hand, he ordered people to clean the battlefield, and on the other hand, he ordered Yu Fei to reorganize the team. In the main hall, Jiao Chan looked at Lin Feng as he strode towards him, with a complex expression in his eyes. I didn't expect the general to be so brave, it's rare in the world. Lin Feng smiled indifferently and said, Li Gui and Gua Si are nothing but local chickens, tiles, and dogs. Just now, the scout reported that LV Bu has led over 10,000 troops to Xinling. What do you think we should do next, Mississippi? Jiao Chan pondered for a moment and shook his head, saying, Lu Bu is the most powerful general in the world. His Bingzhou Iron Cavalry is not weak in combat. The army is pressing the border, the general should hand me over and leave the stronghold. With the general's ability, there will definitely be some achievements in the future. There's no need to risk your life here, it's meaningless. Lin Feng shook his head and said, I have said that the rise and fall of the world, the salvation of the people, cannot be placed on you. I am willing to shield you from the wind and rain. Although LV Bu is brave, what's the point in front of me? Why don't we make a bet? If I kill Lu Bu and take Chang'an, how about you be my woman? Jiao Chan's stunning face revealed a hint of shyness, and she had not spoken for a long time. Lin Feng chuckled and turned to leave, Miss Jiao Chan, prepare to leave with the army and kill towards Chang'an. Today is about to change that day. Listening to Lin Feng's domineering declaration, I felt the immense confidence in him. Jiao Chan was shocked. For a long time, a smile rose from the corner of her mouth, and her cold heart gradually flourished. Is this the taste of being protected? Her cheeks turned red, beautiful beyond measure, and everything lost its color in front of her. On the official road, which is only ten miles away from Shenling, a cavalry of around ten thousand marched rapidly. In front of the team, LV Bu stepped on a red rabbit horse, holding a square sky painting halberd, 
with a natural killing intent on his face. Step by step. A rapid sound of horse hooves came. Zhang Liao appeared in his sight, but his face was solemn. He clenched his fists and said sternly, Marquis One, there are remnants of soldiers fleeing from Shenling. Our scout inquired and learned that in just one hour, Li Gui and Guo Xi were killed, and the entire army of 3,000 Western Liang Iron Cavalry was destroyed. The people on Shenling are not simple. El Yubu's eyes showed a hint of disdain and he said, what ability does Li Gui and Guo Xi have? It's just an incompetent rat, I can't even take away the remaining sins of a yellow scarf, it's really embarrassing. Zhang Liao shook his head and said, 3,000 Western Yang Iron Cavalry, their strength is not weak, but they haven't persisted for an hour. Wen Ho should not be careless. El Yubu snorted coldly, am I personally stepping forward and afraid of these remaining sins? The army continues to advance. Today, I will break through Shenling and kill the rebels. Seeing that El Vibu couldn't hear a word, Zhang Liao shook his head secretly and didn't say much. At this moment, there is inevitably some disappointment in Lu Bu's heart. The army continued to advance, but within five miles, another scout came. Report There are three thousand bandits at the foot of Shenling, ready to fight. Hmm. The bandits are so brave that they dare to go down the mountain. Keep moving forward without delay. On the side, Zhang Liao was still about to speak, but seeing the fierce war intent on LV Bu's face, he could only suppress his words in his heart. For some reason, there was always a sense of unease in his heart. In front of the two armies, killing intent permeated. Lin Fong held a long spear and stood proudly on his own. Yu Fei's gaze was sharp and he followed closely behind. Looking from afar, more than a hundred feet across from him, a person holding a square painting halberd and stepping on a red rabbit horse exudes a majestic aura. Use the skill, True Dragon's Eye. LV Bu Force Value 105 Intelligence 75 Command 96 skills unparalleled. The more enemies you face, the more you can unleash your internal potential. One person increases your strength by 25 points, two people increase your strength by 30 points, and three people increase your strength by 35 points. Skill Divine Arrow A skilled archer who can pierce through the sky with a hundred steps. Using bows and arrows, Instantly increases 15 points of strength and an additional 50% of hit rate Zhang Liao force value. 98 Intelligence 87 Command 95 Skill Assault The fewer accompanying soldiers around, the higher the combat effectiveness, with a maximum increase of 15 points in force value, TSK TSK. No wonder LV Bu is known as the top general of the Three Kingdoms, and his basic military strength is truly terrifying. The unparalleled skills are even more impressive. I am not afraid of siege at all, and without more people, I can actually enhance my strength. No wonder at Hulao Pass, when the three heroes fought against Lu Bu. Only Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and LV Bu were clearly struggling. As soon as Lu Bei joined, it became increasingly difficult to fight. I'm afraid it's because Lu Bei, this bastard, triggered the unparalleled skill and increased LV Bu's maximum strength. If this data panel were placed in front of Lu Bei, I don't know how Lu Bei would feel. In his heart, Lin Feng slandered a few words. As he was about to fight, he took a long shot and had a strong sense of war in his eyes. He shouted angrily, I am Lin Feng, a slave from the three families. Today, I will teach you a lesson for your unfilial son on behalf of your deceased father. Do you dare to come out and fight me? The voice was loud and spread throughout the entire battlefield. Lu Bu's face turned red like pig liver, burning with anger. If his gaze could kill, he wished he could cut Lin Feng to pieces. He hates being scolded by others for being a slave of his three surnames the most. This is like the scales of the same dragon. How can El Yubu tolerate it? Feeling Lu Bu's full of anger, Zhang Liao's unease grew stronger in his heart. 
Intuition told him that although Lin Feng across from him was an unknown person, it was not simple. Nowadays, LV Bu has long lost his sanity and rashly stepped forward, fearing that something might be wrong. Hurriedly speaking up to persuade, don't be impulsive, Duke Wen. Our army has an advantage, we only need to kill the generals together. The enemy can be defeated, there is no need. Before Zhang Liao could finish speaking, the red rabbit horse under Lu Bu's feet had already rushed out. The angry scolding in his mouth rang out. Ignorant rat, today I will surely defeat you to ashes. Come and fight me. P.S. Seeking flowers and tickets, they are all free items. Thank you very much, big shots. Chapter 7 El Yubu in sorrow, was his move secondly defeated. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ding dong, valuable object detected. Fong Tian draws a halberd, a red rabbit horse, looting rewards level S. Forcefully subdue Zhang Liao, plunder rewards level S. The sound of continuous reminders from the system made Lin Feng feel very happy. Just now I was feeling depressed. I had a battle and the system didn't even give me a reward. I thought it might be a bug in the system. Now it seems that the game just now was too low. End. Looking at Lu Bu, Lin Fang's eyes showed a hint of excitement. Child, get out of here and suffer. The sound of Lu Bu's broken drink came, and Lin Fong clenched his legs tightly, and the galloping horse from under his crotch rushed out. The two of them are getting closer and their momentum is also increasing rapidly. Two astonishing momentum collided with each other, soaring into the sky. The astonishing killing aura made all the soldiers around feel uneasy and sweat profusely on their backs. It's getting closer, getting closer. Lin Feng could even see Lu Bu's ferocious face. Take your life. Lu Bu let out a loud roar, and Fang Tianhua's halberd was like a dragon emerging from the water, mixed with a towering momentum, piercing straight towards Lin Feng's intended harm. Lin Feng's face was calm, not even moving except for the corners of his mouth occasionally rising, showing a mocking smile. What a big coward, I see you're trying to kill yourself. El Yu Bu was burning with anger, and the strength of his arms increased a bit. As Fang Tianhua's halberd approached, the Bingzhou soldiers behind El Vi Bu roared wildly and were extremely excited. On the other hand, the subordinates behind Lin Feng surrendered their troops with a face as pale as earth, worried. Fang Tianhua's halberd was getting closer and closer, and Lin Feng finally moved. But seeing the long spear in his hand streak a beautiful arc in the air. A cold chill flashed over the gun head. Without dodging or dodging, he went straight towards the sky and drew a halberd. Dong! The deafening sound of impact pierced through the sky and earth. The terrifying sound explosion spread towards the surroundings, like thunder, gripping the soul. At the intersection of the gunhead and Fang Tianhua's halberd, there were even sparks of fire, swirling dust around the two. Although there was no positive feeling of the power of this blow, even at a distance of several tens of feet, everyone knew that if it were for themselves, they would probably die without even a scum left. Even Zhang Liao's eyes showed a complex expression, and as he looked in the direction of the dust, his shock was evident. The smoke and dust dissipated, and two figures appeared. LV Balian took his horse back a few steps. Looking back at Lin Feng, he was as stable as Mount Taishan, but he was not affected at all. Sizzling. The soldiers of Bingzhou all took a cold breath and looked at Lin Feng with fear in their eyes. Faced off head dot on, unexpectedly repelled the world's number one Lu Bu. This this is simply beyond their imagination. On the other side, the frightened subordinates surrendered with a look of excitement in their eyes. Without stopping, he shouted loudly, Your Majesty! General, Mighty! The Lord is Mighty! Roar, roar! In the deafening roar, the worries on Yu Fei's face, who was originally holding a long gun tightly and ready to take action at any time, completely dissipated. El Yubu never expected Lin Feng in front of him to be so terrifying with power like a raging sea that never ceased. 
listening to countless cheers and feeling many strange gazes around him, Lu Bu only felt a fever on his face, which turned extremely red. You. You. Come again. Lu Bu let out a loud shout, and the anger in his eyes surged again. The surging killing intent made many people pale. The red rabbit horse under its crotch was as fast as lightning, charging towards Lin Fong. The Fong Tian painted halberd in his hand was raised high, with a ferocious expression on his face. Ding dong, LV Bu's skill is unparalleled. Currently, there is only one enemy, increasing the force value by 25 points. The current force value is 130 points. 130 points of force have reached the ceiling of this era, and the terrifying aura has attracted countless people's attention. Lin Fong, who was more than ten zhang away, also showed a hint of solemnity in his eyes. With a forceful squeeze of his legs, the galloping horse under his crotch charged towards Lu Bu. Ding Dong, the host skill, God of War, is activated, increasing the force value by 30 points. The current force value is 140 points. The activation of the victory skill made Lin Feng's aura as thick as a mountain, and his aura alone could make ordinary soldiers nearby give up resistance. Before the two of them could get close, their momentum kept colliding. Even discerning people can see that Lin Feng has the upper hand. Before the Bingzhou Iron Cavalry, Zhang Liao's unease grew stronger in his heart, but he knew he couldn't do anything. In the battlefield, the two horses are getting closer and closer. Go to hell. Lu Bu let out a low roar, and Fang Tianhua's halberd was as fast as a gust of wind, mixed with a surging killing intent, hitting Lin Feng's head. Although this move has infinite power, mixed with all the power of LV Bu, it has no structure at all. Lin Feng's mouth showed a hint of a calculated smile. Although his strength is higher than Lu Bu's, he can collide head dot on, and his weapon is not as advantageous as Fang Tianhua's halberd, so he doesn't have much advantage at all. Therefore, from the very beginning of meeting, he was trying to provoke Lu Bu. What is the use of an angry bull, no matter how powerful it is? At present, we have finally achieved our goal. L Yu Bu lost his sanity, this was his chance to flash kill L Yu Bu. A smug smile rose from the corner of his mouth, and his body was as agile as a monkey, jumping off the horse. Fong Tian drew a halberd from top to bottom and happened to miss Lin Fong, directly hitting the horse's head. At the same time, Lin Feng's long spear in the air moved. The gun is as fast as a dragon and as fast as lightning. As his body dodged the fatal blow of Fong Tianhua's halberd, the gun's head drew a beautiful line in the air. Cold flashes flashed by, and the gunhead did not dodge, piercing directly at Lu Bu's throat. L. Yu Bu's face changed greatly. At this moment, he clearly felt the icy killing intent enveloping his entire body. Cold sweat kept lingering along his face. This is the breath of death. Ah ah. He shouted wildly and quickly withdrew the Fang Tian Hua halberd from his hand. But everything is too late. A silver light flashed before my eyes, and in the next second, my throat cooled down. Blood spurted out from the throat he witnessed blood flowing out like a stream with his own eyes. Hands gradually lose strength. His eyes widened with regret as he looked at Lin Fong. Who are you? How could? Be so powerful. Lin Feng's spear was shot horizontally and his gaze was cold. I am Lin Fong sweeping the world and unifying the nine provinces. Lin Fong. Lin Fong. Pushi. A mouthful of blood spat out, and LV Bu's eyes turned black. His body fell heavily to the ground. Dust is flying, and the entire battlefield is silent. At this moment, time seemed to be at a standstill, with countless soldiers from Bingzhou looking dull and their eyes filled with an incredulous expression. Is this how Lu Bu, the world's number one, was killed? Was one move instantly killed? Is this a dream? P.S. I am looking for flowers, recommended tickets, and free items. Thank you all. Chapter 8 
Zhang Liao's surrender, the charm of that shot. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for snatching the red rabbit horse from LV Bu's hand. Fong Tian successfully drew the halberd. Do you want to receive an S. Level reward? Suddenly, the sound of the system's prompt sounded, causing Lin Fong to be taken aback. He quickly made a choice. No. The prize has been stored in system space and can be accessed at any time. Lin Fong let go of his heart and looked at Zhang Liao in the distance. He pointed his spear and shouted loudly, Let's attack the Beiwei army. Kill. With a command, Yu Fei, who had already been prepared, waved his hand. Eight hundred soldiers on the back of Wei were like wolves and tigers charging towards the Iron Cavalry of Bingzhou. The Bingzhou Iron Cavalry, who had fallen into a state of stagnation, came to his senses and looked at the charging enemies. At that moment, they couldn't muster any resistance. LV Bu, who was like a god of war in their hearts, only persevered with one move in Lin Feng's hands. How could they possibly withstand Lin Feng's attack? Surrender without killing, kneel on the ground begging for mercy without dying. Lin Feng's voice rang out again, penetrating the crowd and echoing in everyone's ears. Don't be afraid, the enemy only has a few thousand people, they are just shrimp soldiers and crab generals. Although Lin Feng is brave, what's the point? Can he stop our 10,000 Bingzhou Iron Cavalry? All the troops come forward to avenge Marquis Wen. Zhang Liao's repeated roars raised some resistance in the already demoralized Bingzhou Iron Cavalry. Lin Feng is impressive, but how can his subordinates be his opponents? How could one person's bravery possibly stop their 10,000 Iron Cavalry? Thinking of this, many people raised a hint of fighting spirit, clenched their swords, and charged towards the Beiwei army. Before he could even reach him, a flurry of arrows flew towards him. More than a hundred iron riders couldn't support themselves for a moment and fell to the ground, leaving blood on the ground through their wounds. Following that, the spearmen and shield soldiers charged forward one after another. Yu Fei charged forward, his spear dancing wildly in his hand. With each shot swung, several people would surely fly out horizontally, their bodies like broken kites, and those who collided along the way would howl and scream in agony. Where righteousness comes, move forward courageously. Back way army, kill. Ding dong, the Beiwei army comes with the skill, loyalty and righteousness, increasing combat power by 400%. With the crisp sound of the system, the surging momentum of the entire Beiwei army rose once again. The Bingzhou Iron Cavalry, which could have blocked for a moment, is no match at all. Wherever the Beiwei army went, corpses lay everywhere, a sea of blood. In front of the Beiwei army, the Bingzhou Iron Cavalry was like a young child, completely no match. They. They are demons, demons. How can we stop it? I won't fight anymore, I won't fight anymore. I want to surrender. Don't kill me, I want to surrender. Faced with the cold Beiwei army, the last bit of courage of the Bingzhou soldiers to resist also dissipated. Countless people knelt down, their eyes full of confusion and anxiety. Zhang Liao witnessed this scene with a pale face and desperate eyes. He never imagined that not only Lin Feng could fight, but his army was also among the elite. The combat effectiveness of Bingzhou Iron Cavalry is not weak, and these more than 10,000 people followed Lu Bu's eastward and westward expeditions, each of whom is a seasoned veteran. But such a team is still not a match for the Beiwei army. Which team in this world can withstand the advancing footsteps of the Beiwei army? Who can stop Lin Feng's footsteps? Is this innocence really going to change? General, Lin Feng is here to kill. Hurry up and leave, otherwise you won't be able to leave. The soldier beside him quickly pulled down Zhang Liao, who was still in a daze, and shouted anxiously. At the same time, Lin Feng's cold voice sounded. Go. Where are we going? Zhang Liao looked directly at Lin Feng with a complex expression in his eyes. 
Why are you so ruthless and nameless? How could you possibly be a leader of the Yellow Turban Army? Lin Feng smiled faintly, unable to explain to Zhang Liao. With a flick of his spear in his hand, he said, come and fight. After hesitating for a moment, Zhang Liao raised his large knife in his hand and said, battle. As soon as the words fell, Lin Feng moved and a galloping horse galloped out of his crotch. The spear in hand is as fast as a dragon out of water. Ding Dong, the host skill, God of War, is activated, increasing the force value by 20 points. The current force value is 130 points. The skill is activated, and a terrifying killing intent rushes out of its body. At this moment, Zhang Liao felt fear and insignificance. In front of Lin Feng, I was like a flat boat in the sea, standing in a towering mountain. How could I be my opponent? A silver light flashed before his eyes, and the knife in Zhang Liao's hand had not even been cut. The killing intent of death is approaching. A hint of bitterness appeared at the corner of Zhang Liao's mouth, as there was not even a chance to surrender. Is the gap really so big? What a fast gun, I can't even see a shadow myself. Despair rises in their hearts Zhang Liao's eyes were closed, and his heart was filled with unwillingness begging for mercy. He doesn't want to speak without dignity like this. The gentle breeze blew by, leaving no trace of killing intent. Zhang Liao's bewildered eyes opened, and the long spear was only a finger away from his throat. He looked at Lin Feng with confusion, obviously not expecting that at the last moment, Lin Feng did not take action. What do you mean by, you, dot? Lin Feng said coldly, are you willing to submit to me? Zhang Liao breathed a sigh of relief, his eyes full of complexity. He didn't have much loyalty to Lu Bu, how could he die for him? After witnessing Lin Feng's terror and the invincibility of the Beiwei army, he had already developed a heart of surrender. Just in the public eye, one must always be more dignified. Now that the gun is right in his throat, where does he have a choice? A dignified surrender may be good, but where is one's own destiny good? I am willing to submit to my lord. After speaking, Zhang Liao knelt down on one knee in front of Lin Feng, his face full of awe and his whole body firm. Years later, every time Zhang Liao thought of this, he was grateful that he didn't take Fei seriously at the time. Otherwise, where could there be endless glory and wealth? Of course, this is a later part. At the same time as Zhang Liao surrendered, the crisp sound of the system rang out again. Ding dong, the host forcibly subdues Zhang Liao and obtains an S. level reward. Do you want to use it now? No. The gentle breeze blew, and a bloody smell came from the tip of the nose. Lin Feng looked at Zhang Liao kneeling on the ground, excited. The leader of Chao Chao's five sons and excellent generals was surpassed by himself. The corners of my mouth slightly raised, as I gazed in the direction of Chang'an City, my fighting spirit grew stronger. Chapter 9 Black Clouds Suppressed the City and the Strategy to Break Chang'an You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. P.S. This one has changed four chapters, over 8,000 words, and the coding is not easy. Everyone, please give some support, flowers, and tickets. The sound of fighting continues, but it is already a unilateral massacre. Under Lin Feng's advance instructions, the 800 Beiwei army directly inserted into the rear of the Bingzhou Iron Cavalry, annihilating all the remaining soldiers who wanted to escape back to Chang'an City. The soldiers of Bingzhou lost all resistance when they found that there was no way forward and no way back. They crawled on the ground one by one and dared not speak much. In the crowd, Lin Feng personally helped Zhang Liao up. With the help of literature, how can great things not be accomplished? There was a hint of complexity in Zhang Liao's eyes. Lin Feng had a murderous aura just now, but now he pays homage to virtuous soldiers. Which side is real and which side is fake? The Lord's aspiration is in the world. Lin Feng nodded slightly and said, The world is chaotic and all the feudal lords have risen together to sweep away the nine provinces. 
unifying the rivers and mountains is where the great righteousness lies. When Yuan thinks that I can conform to the will of heaven and sweep across the six harmonies. Zhang Liao hesitated for a moment and nodded. Lin Feng smiled and said, I know you still have doubts, but time is the best proof. Since you have surrendered to me, are you willing to take Chang'an city for me? Take Chang'an. Zhang Liao's eyes were shocked and he said, there is still a 50,000 strong army in Chang'an city. With the Lord's thousands of men and horses in his hands, like ants gnawing on elephants, how can we? The words were not finished, but the meaning was already very clear. Lin Feng smiled and said, without a general, it would take some effort, but with you, everything is simple. The general pretended to be defeated and retreated to the city. I led a large army to call out, and the defending generals would surely underestimate me, leading to a battle outside the city. At that time, if you had killed through the city gate and I had fought in from outside the city, how could the enemy resist? By taking down Chang'an city in one fell swoop and devouring the 50,000 defenders of Chang'an, we were able to establish our foothold in Yongzhou. Zhang Liao's eyes showed a hint of admiration. No wonder that most powerful army would block the way back, killing anyone who wanted to escape. Originally, Zhang Liao didn't care, but now thinking about it, it must be Lin Feng who was afraid of leaking the news. Take one step, take three steps, Lin Feng is much more powerful than he imagined. I am willing to serve my lord and win Chang'an city. Just. Is it just that my lord really trusts me to enter Chang'an city? Internal cooperation and external cooperation. Lin Feng smiled at the corner of his mouth and said, Nature. Don't doubt people, don't doubt employment. Feeling the trust emanating from Lin Feng, Zhang Liao's eyes were full of complexity. He has been following Lu Bu for many years, going through fire and water for him, but he has never felt the trust around him once. And Lin Feng, he just surrendered and didn't even say a few words, already believing in himself so much. Is this the difference? A warm current flows out from the bottom of its heart. Why? Lin Feng smiled and said, first of all, it's because of your character. Although you are afraid of death, you are unwilling to kneel down and beg for mercy, which proves that you have pride. A person like you wouldn't even betray the infamous Lu Bu, how could you betray me? Secondly, Dong Zhuo himself was drunk and dreamed of death in Babbler Wu, indulging in extravagance and drinking, and his fighting spirit had long been worn away. In Chang'an, he was waiting for death. And LV Bu was killed by me. Although the world is vast, there is no place for you to rest. What are the benefits of betraying me? Thirdly, no one in the world can match my military strength, and the Beiwei army under my command is even more formidable. Follow me to conquer the world, won't you? After a brief moment of shock, Zhang Liao's fighting spirit burst out from his heart. The long-lost fighting spirit reappeared on him. In an instant, he seemed to have returned to his initial days in the military, where he had to fight with fear every day just for the sake of his beliefs. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for gaining Zhang Liao's loyalty, charm value plus one. Hmm. Lin Feng was stunned for a moment, but unexpectedly, he gained something unexpected. His charm value increased by one, and looking at his own data, his charm value really increased from 92 to 93. A unique smile emanated from the corners of the mouth. With Zhang Liao's loyalty, do we still need to be afraid of any potential disruptions in our plans? The sunset slowly sets, and the evening breeze blows slowly. Dozens of soldiers lazily stood on both sides of the Chang'an city gate. Step by step. A rapid sound of horse hooves rang out, and the exhausted and drowsy soldiers of the Western Liang army cheered up. What kind of person? Don't even know me. Amidst the roar of anger, Zhang Liao appeared in front of the soldiers on a fast horse. Dozens of soldiers naturally recognized Zhang Liao, one sweating and kneeling on the ground. I have eyes but don't know what's going on. I didn't see the general clearly. Please spare my life. Get out of here, 
I'm going into the city. Yes, yes. The soldiers just stepped aside and hundreds of people rushed in. As soon as he entered the city, Zhang Liao shouted loudly, close the city gate, close the city gate. Yu Fei's eyes on one side narrowed slightly, and a strong killing intent burst out in his eyes. Holding the long spear tightly in both hands, ready to suddenly explode at any moment. Zhang Liao quickly explained in a low voice, there are two armies in the city. The Bingzhou army and the Western Liang army. The Bingzhou soldiers were led by LV Bu, while the Western Liang soldiers were led by Zhang Ji. How much effort would it take to directly enter the city and eliminate these people? In the field battle outside the city, even if you have thousands of soldiers and horses, as long as the main general is killed, who is willing to fight to death. To quickly subdue these forces and use them for the Lord, we must engage in a decisive battle outside the city. Yu Fei pondered slightly, nodded slightly, and his eyes gestured to the Wei army behind him. The communication between the two took a moment, so the guards of the Western Liang army were naturally unclear. The leader of the gatekeeper was full of confusion and said, General, what does this mean? Didn't Marquis Wen return yet? In the eyes of this soldier, annihilating the bandits is definitely foolproof and there is no possibility of failure. Zhang Liao's face turned cold as he shouted, Marquis Wen is surrounded. Although he has escaped from the encirclement, his whereabouts are unknown. Ten miles away, the enemy's army of over 10,000 is approaching. Hurry up and close the city gate. Perhaps to comply with Zhang Liao's words. The deafening sound of horse hooves outside the city echoed from far to near. There are really enemies. There really is. Close the city gate quickly, quickly. Blow the horn. Light the beacon smoke and prepare for battle. Quick. Screams and roars swirled around the city gate. The beacon smoke lit up the sound of horns soared to the sky, and the entire city of Chang'an became chaotic. Chapter 10 Jia Su Zhang Liao surrenders, Zhang Ji falls into a trap. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Outside the city, flags block the sun and the clamor continues. Lin Feng stepped on a red rabbit horse and stood proudly at the forefront of the army. Taking advantage of the preparation time in the city, his consciousness entered the system space. Ding dong, 2s. Level rewards detected. Do you want to claim them now? Yes. Ding dong, sees the red hair horse, Fang Tian draws the halberd, and the host obtains the divine weapon. The overlord spear. Ding dong, forcibly surrender Zhang Liao, and the host gains a general summoning card. Ba Wang Gun. The weapon of Xiang Yu, the Chu Ba Wang, is a unique spear. It is one Zhang, three feet, seven inches, and three cents long, and weighs seventy-three pounds, seven or three coins. The spear tip is made of pure steel, and the barrel is also made of pure steel. It is held invincible and invincible. Additional feature. Increases user's force value by two points. General summoning card can randomly summon a famous general from history. Both items are placed in the system space and can be used at any time. TSK Tisk. This system is really awesome. Now that he is stepping on a red rabbit horse, what he lacks is a divine weapon, and now the overlord spear just fills this gap. And the summoning card for generals can also help him better control the army. How can he not be happy that both things are urgently needed by him now? With a thought, the overlord spear flickered with a unique cold light in his hand. With a gentle grip, the overlord spear seemed to blend in with its heart, like an arm and a finger. Lin Feng's smile at the corner of his mouth was a bit more intense. As for the summoning card for generals, he was not in a hurry to use it. Chang'an City, City Mansion Wang Yun, who was originally pouring and drinking in the hall, was disturbed by the sound of hurried footsteps. His eyebrows furrowed slightly, and he stopped drinking in a cold voice, didn't you say that you shouldn't disturb me unless you have something important to do? Senior brother Z, Wang Yun's character, 
big things are not good, big things are not good. Upon hearing the familiar voice, Wang Yun's face softened. As soon as he got up, a general dressed in armor strode in. This person is Wang Yun's friend, Yu Qi Xiao captain, in the prince's uniform. Seeing him dressed in military uniform, Wang Yun said, Brother Zifu, what's going on outside? Prince Fu said, There are rumors outside that LV Bu has been killed, and Zhang Liao has returned with his remaining soldiers. Currently, the city is surrounded by more than 10,000 bandits, Lin Fong. I'm afraid this day will change. What? Is Lu Bu dead? Can anyone in the world kill Lu Bu? Wang Yun was shocked, and the shock and disbelief in his eyes could not be described in words. Prince Fu smiled bitterly and said, Who knows? The situation is not good anyway. All the officials rushed to the imperial palace, saying that they wanted his majesty to move and that they were safe in Chang'an city. Both sides are deadlocked. You are a high-dot-ranking official in the court, but go and take control of the world. Wang Yun furrowed his brows and paced back and forth in the hall. After a while, he said with a serious tone, If we can leave Chang'an, the Great Han can revive us. Although the bandit Lin Fong is not well dot known, he may have killed LV Bu and defeated his Bingzhou cavalry, which is definitely not easy. His mind is unclear, we cannot take risks in the city. Leaving Chang'an and leaving behind the bandit Lin Fong to fight against Dong Zhuo would be of great benefit to the world. We must immediately persuade your majesty to leave Chang'an city. If it's too late, it may not be possible. Brother Zifu, can you open the east city gate? Prince Fu nodded and said, there is my old department at the east gate, so it should be possible. However, we must wait for Zhang Ji's western young soldiers to be attracted by bandits, otherwise the emperor will leave with too many targets and it will not be easy. Wang Yun nodded and said, Zifu, go ahead and arrange it. I will go and persuade your majesty now. The rise and fall of the great Han dynasty depend on us, and we must do our best not to slack off. This is nature. After speaking, the two hurriedly left and acted independently. Chang'an West Gate, above the city wall. Zhang Ji and Zhang Liao stood shoulder to shoulder. As he gazed at the approaching army of over 10,000 in the distance, his eyes were filled with confusion and confusion. Who would have thought that the remnants of the yellow scarf would dare to attack Chang'an? Did Lin Feng eat ambitious leopard gall? General Zhang Liao, how could you be defeated by these bandits? Zhang Ji looked at Zhang Liao with a clear sense of confusion in his eyes. Zhang Liao shook his head with a bitter smile and said, Marquis Wen was furious and disregarded the army. He charged directly into the bandits, but unfortunately fell into a trap. In a panic, he didn't know where to escape. The army was in chaos and was defeated by Lin Feng. General Zhang Ji, most of the bandits are our army's surrendered soldiers. As long as the army is above them, they will definitely abandon the dark and turn to the light. The farce in Chang'an city is already significant and must be brought to an end as soon as possible. The people on Taishir's side were defeated by Lin Feng, probably because a large army is gathering. Zhang Ji did not doubt Zhang Liao's words. He furrowed his brow slightly and pondered whether to send troops or hold on. Without hesitation, Zhang Xiu, who was wearing silver armor at the back of her body and holding a long spear, couldn't resist the fighting intent in her chest. But seeing him take a step forward, he said sternly, Uncle was highly valued by the Grand Tutor and guarded Chang'an. Now that the bandits have offended him, I will send troops to defeat them. Moreover, his robbery of the Grand Tutor's beloved concubine is a capital offense. There are 30,000 Xiliang Iron Cavalry in my city, afraid of the bandits' temporary assembly of more than 10,000 people. My nephew is not talented. Please have 5,000 cavalry and go out of the city to break through the thieves. As Zhang Xiu spoke, the other generals and schools of the Western Liang dynasty all shouted loudly. General, how can we let the bandits deceive no one in our city? 
I am willing to go out of the city to capture thieves and make contributions. The constant sound of petitions made Zhang Ji hesitate even more. His gaze turned to the middle dot aged man in a plain robe not far away and he asked softly, Mr. Wenha, in the name of Jia Su, what do you think? Jia Su gazed into the distance and remained silent for a while. The bandit's clothes were messy and disorderly, obviously pieced together, they were a ragtag group. It's just that Marquis Wen's military prowess is unparalleled in the world, but now his whereabouts are unknown, which is quite strange. Therefore, we cannot underestimate Lin Fong. The general can send an army to explore, and the large army will defend the city, ensuring no worries. Upon hearing these words, Zhang Liao and Yu Fei beside him both showed a strange expression on their faces. The gaze towards Jia Su was filled with fear. However, at this moment, the heads of people were surging on the city wall, and the subtle changes in their expressions did not attract much attention. What the gentleman said is not wrong. Zhang Jizhen was about to agree, but Zhang Liao spoke up and said, The lion is fighting the rabbit. If we still do our best, how can we hastily launch a biased army? The defeat of Duke Wen lies in underestimating his opponents. If a team is broken and emerges one after another, does it not fall right into Lin Feng's scheme? Rushing out, overwhelming others with force. If Lin Feng is powerful and rushes forward, how powerful can he be compared to thousands of troops and horses? Although Zhang Ji and LV Bu Zhang Liao were not at odds, they strongly agreed with this statement. Although he is brave in battle, he is extremely cautious in his actions, otherwise he would not have been appointed by Dong Zhua to guard Chang'an City. Therefore, after a brief moment of contemplation, Zhang Jidao said, Wang Meng, Zhang Liao will defend the city, and the other generals will follow me out of the city to fight. Rebels and grass bandits, how can our army fear within the city walls? War is stirring up, the army is leaving the city. Zhang Ji turned around first and descended, followed closely by Zhang Xiu and a group of Western Liang generals. Looking at his distant figure, Zhang Liao breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, and a smile unconsciously appeared at the corner of his mouth. Not far away, Jia Su's eyes flickered, staring closely at Zhang Liao, as if lost in thought. Suddenly, he caught a glimpse of the smile at the corner of Zhang Liao's mouth. A sense of unease rose from the bottom of my heart. Subconsciously approaching the stairs. He didn't take two steps, but a figure stood in front of him. Mr. Wenha, where are you going? It was Yu Fei who was speaking, and since Jia Su spoke, he had been staring at him. Seeing Jia Su move, he naturally did not want to let go of this variable. As soon as he spoke, Zhang Liao naturally noticed this side and quickly changed the topic with Wang Meng on one side, loudly commenting on the upcoming war. Jia Su was about to speak out and reprimand when Yu Fei's threatening voice sounded. No matter what the gentleman sees, he cannot speak recklessly, otherwise there will be a dead end. Mr. Wenha is a wise person, surely he doesn't want to try the sharp edge of the big knife in my hand. Jia Su's forehead broke out in a cold sweat, and he looked in shock at the big flag outside the city with the character Lin. With a suppressed voice, he said softly, Zhang Liao surrendered, Zhang Ji fell into the trap. This day is about to change. P.S. Seeking data, seeking flowers, seeking tickets.